All right, back here for another edition of Krantz's Corner. And as you can see in the video, and you're going to hear in just a second, my guest, one of my favorite guests we bring on here, Randall Thrill Hill, joins us out here on Krantz's Corner. Randall, welcome back to the corner. A little disappointed we're not in the Tiki Hut today, but I do like your background. <laughs> No, uh, thank you. I, I just finished another call and I was already set up here in the office. Uh, so, um, you know, this is this is my other little, little, little dungeon that, that I hide out in. No, nope, I like it. Dungeon's nice. I like the background pictures. Good stuff. I just got a tour of Randall's room just beforehand. Awesome Muhammad Ali stuff. Jackie Robinson, Brooklyn Dodgers stuff. Oh, he's, he's and, linked uh, up in there. One I didn't show you was uh, a signature autograph signature from um, Joe DiMaggio. Okay, you have some good, good stuff in there. That's a nice. That's not a dungeon. That's a. That's a nice. That's a nice, expensive room you're in there at this point. Oh well, man! All right, her name is Doctor Hill. She did it for me. Anyway. Right? No, no, no. Listen, if, if the wife's got good taste and she's gonna buy you good stuff, you just deal with it. You say thank you very much, and you move on Absolutely. to the next thing in the house. You have to fix or do whatever it is. As long as you don't have to Absolutely. put together anything crazy from IKEA, I think you're all right. All right. Let's let's get this out of the way before we start and move forward. Uh, I was at the game. I was in the booth with Joe Zagaki and Don Bailey Jr. for Georgia Tech and the fumble, not kneeled down ending. I, I want to know where you were and what was your feeling on that. And then we're going to shut the door on it and move forward. I was, uh, I, I want to say I was in the Tiki Hut just hanging out. <laughs> I believe it. Um, it listen, it, it, I'm pretty sure if you had, Mario one on one, he would say, "You know what? I effed up. Right. I screwed up. Right? Um, you know, he's a he's a man's man. I, you know, and I'm not going to, like you say, you know, like, we're not going to labor over this. Um, everyone knows that that was a, a, a bad call on right. on his part. You know, however, um, you know, I I know that he's he's the right guy for the job. He has the right enthusiasm. He has the right motivation. Um, he's a hometown guy, so." Um, you still have to give each uh, coach three to four years um, to, to implement their system, implement um, their philosophy, uh, you know, moving forward. You know, if you think about it, going back to even with, with Jimmy Johnson first got there, there at the University of Miami, uh, yeah, they won a kickoff classic, but, you know, people were still upset um, that, you know, I, I want to say he went eight and five, I want to say something like right. that. Probably, yeah. Uh, yeah, something like that. So, um, give Mario uh, uh, a few years to to get his philosophy in, to get his guys in, uh, and then you know ask those hard questions once again. Right. Yeah. You know everything pops up after a loss, no matter what happens. It's always always questionable stuff on the coach, no matter what. Mm -hmm. He did take the blame initially. He did kind of come out and say, you know, we handed the ball off. You got to put two hands on the ball. He got kind of ripped for that, and then all of a sudden everything did change. In his demeanor, it was my fault. We screwed up, and, and I get that. We moved on. So we moved on to North Carolina, and for the first half of this game, I love the way the defense was playing. Everything looked like it was going in Miami's favor to a point. It was 17-14 at halftime. The Hurricanes were winning. And then UNC came out and blew the doors off that defense in that third quarter, and uh, not even a comeback in the fourth quarter could help out with the Hurricanes. What did you think of this game in general, well, the way they played, everything? So, it, you know, I – I, I did not like certain elements of, of the game. So one of the one of the intangibles, and I'm big on intangibles, uh, and you'll hear me say that over and over and over again, because um, I learned that from Jimmy Johnson, learned that from Gary Stevens, um, is you know momentum, um, attitude, effort, and yeah, University of Miami got the doors blowed off in the second half. Right. However, if you don't throw interceptions or if you don't fumble the ball on the one that is very demoralizing Ugh. you fumble the ball on the on the one yard line that is so demoralizing um and 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 it and it it eats at your psyche like you know i've, I've done all this work right you know i've i've, I've taken hits I've, I've gone down the field and i caught the ball up you know it, you can't have that and 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 think that um, it's not going to have an effect on your team, whether it be in, in the rest of the first half or even the second half. You you just can't have that. The other thing that I I, I don't like is um, you throw an interception, you fumble a ball. Um, as a quarterback, you need to be you know looking at the plays. You need to be looking at the screen, um, looking at the tablet to see what you what you could do um, better. Hold on one second. 
Yes, let him in. Um, Perfect. Love that. Yeah, that, was, that. That was Rick James. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> so uh-huh. you, you know, you, you can't you – know, I sit there and I watch the quarterback and, you know, he has his head down. Right. And then the offensive lineman yeah. has to go over there and, hey, you know, hold your head up or – you have to know, regardless of what happens, regardless of how bad it may look, you're going to win the game. Right. That is that is swagger. That is the want, will, and or desire to know and to be the best. I don't see that as of yet. You know, I when your quarterback is hanging his head, um, when, when guys are pouting around, not hustling on and off the field. And then the other thing is uh, you, you got to have guys um, self-police. Now, Got to be careful because our self policing is probably will be considered to be illegal today. <laughs> right, right. Not not the not the the eighties and nineties self policing. Yeah, yeah, it's you know yeah that you can't do that anymore. Right. I mean, you will get your butt cussed out for dropping right. a ball. You will get threatened for fumbling a ball. You, I mean, you may not even see another ball come your way um, because the, the guy behind you is just as good. Right. So there needs to be some self self police and there needs to be some um, um, you have to be super critical of yourself uh, in, 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 in today's game. And that's one of the things I don't see. Do I still see the fight from the uh, from the coaches? Yes. Uh, you, know, you see Jason Taylor running around. You see Mario Cristobal still being in, uh, intense. Um, but, you know, it's a it's a it's a working collect. Listen. Football. Is if you ask anyone who knows anything about the game, it is not a team sport. Yes, I'll say that again. It is not a team sport. Now everyone's probably saying, "Okay, here's the philosophy, the crazy philosophy." Right, I'm ready for it. Yeah, I'm ready to hear it. Yep. No, football is eleven individual fights, eleven individual battles on a given play, working collectively. As a running back, I cannot go and hike the ball. As a as a center, I cannot throw the ball and or catch the ball. So it's 11 individual battles working collectively as one. Win your battle, you win the game. If everyone wins their battle, if the quarterback wins his battle, we win the game right. along with the center. Everyone win their battle and you'll win the game. And that's what I don't see. You have a breakdown here, a breakdown there. Um, this person doing doing something right, but this person doing something wrong. Win your battle, and you'll win the game. Yep. Hey, listen, I get it. It's 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 the philosophy is there. I understand what you mean by that totally. And mm-hmm. I think it starts and stops with who we've been talking about the most right now is that quarterback. And when the demeanor of the quarterback is what it is, because he had in this game, by the way, I think in the three years he's played at the U, mm-hmm. he had his greatest pass, his number one pass and catch was in this game. I could not believe the throw it was unbelievable. I think it was Jacoby George who might have caught that ball. Uh, and, and it was just amazing. And the wide receivers are playing their game too. They're playing well yeah. out there too. Uh, that's And mm-hmm. that's something I'm glad I'm talking to you about because for how many years mm-hmm. did we talk off air? Did me and you have a conversation? Did Ed, you have a conversation with anybody about where mm-hmm. the damn playmakers? Where are these guys that have been at the U forever? They just don't seem to be there. They're stepping up this year. I have to give them credit where credit's due. The wide receivers are playing pretty good. Yeah. Absolutely. One second, you're going to see my trusted assistant walk behind me. Dr. Hill is going to walk behind me and open the door for someone. This is a, this is a station break real quick. No. Station break. <laughs> station break. We're, we're good to go. Right. That's okay. We're That's good to go. The power of this, right. The power of Francis corner. We can do whatever we want. Right. <laughs> yeah. So no, I, the, the guys will be fine. I mean, right. I, I, the, the, the problem, it's not even a problem. What has happened is um, South Florida is spoiled. 305 is, is spoiled. Right. 954 is spoiled. Yeah. Uh, uh, 561 is spoiled. And you know what? Blame me for that. Blame me for that. Blame the guys who came before me for that. Um, but South Florida and the state of the U deserves to be spoiled. I have no problem with that at all. It's just that the guys now who are on the field who are actually making things happen have to make it happen. Right. Yep, you're 100. You're you're accurate. You're, you, if you're going to be here and you're going to play at the University of Miami, mm-hmm. you have to play. You have to be one of those playmakers, especially if you're Dana Broward County kid, Palm yes. Beach kid. 
I mean, we, we, we know better. We know better. When you get a kid like that, it can be a three-star kid in Palm Beach County. It's a five-star kid in, in another state. It's the same thing. Yeah. That's that's just how yeah. it is down here. Okay, so we, we talked a little bit about Tyler. We talked a little about the wide receiver play. The defense for the beginning of part of that game was really playing well. And in the end of that game, they kind of they kind of you know didn't stop playing well. They just got bombarded in that third quarter. I think it was 21 points. I think North Carolina scored in that third quarter. Uh, that's mm-hmm. something you got to fix a little bit because you got a winnable game for the first time in a while against Clemson coming right. up this weekend. And one right. that I don't I don't think the University of Miami can afford to lose this game this weekend because of what happened. If they were to beat Georgia Tech, lost to North Carolina, and then somehow lost to Clemson, I could say, okay, at this point, you lost to two pretty good, two pretty good teams. Let's move on. And this is a must-win game against Clemson this week. Am I right or wrong on this? Yeah, no. Every game is a must-win game. Um, you can't you can't falter because because of how the college system is set up. Right. But University of Miami can can bounce back uh, well, and they can still um, put their stamp on the season if they can go out and beat one of their nemesis uh, in, in in Clemson. Right. Um, it's 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 a right. It's becoming more and more of a rivalry. It's becoming more of more of 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 a clash. You know, kind of like. Convicts uh, versus the Catholics. Catholics right. versus the Convicts. Right. <laughs> um, right. Clemson is, you know, Clemson University of Miami. Um, that you know, it, it's 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 definitely one that everyone's going to tune into, and the University of Miami can put itself back, uh, kind of where it needs to be if they can win and win convincingly. Yeah, four and two in the season, zero oh and two in the ACC. This is a mm-hmm. big win for Miami to get this week so far. So where's Randall Hill going to be watching the game this week? You're going to be at the, st- you're, you're, I mean, you're at the stadium. You're going to be in the Tiki Hut. Like I know, I know how you watch games, and sometimes I, I've talked to a million times. I talked to a lot of guys, even Michael Irvin back in the day when I was like, "Where are you going to watch this game?" And a lot of times the answer is kind of by myself. And I know you got that Tiki yeah. Hut, but are we going to see an appearance of Randall Hill at the stadium or the Tiki Hut? Um, I'll probably be at the Tiki Hut. Right. Um, I'll probably, probably be here. Um, yeah, you know, I, 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 some legends just fade off into the sunset, and I'm one of those guys. Uh, every once in a while, I'll make a cameo at the stadium. Um, it's not that I don't support the University of Miami. It's just that, you know, it's it's my time is over. Um, you know, let, let the guys focus on what they need to focus on. Um, plus, um, I don't need to be at the stadium because one mistake and, and I'm knocking somebody out, taking their helmet <laughs> and taking their mouthpiece, and I'm going to play the game myself. Right. <laughs> Nobody want you do not want anyone to see crazy Randall Hill watch that game. <laughs> If he Absolutely. sees a, a wide receiver drop the ball or the, or the quarterback throw a bad pick or that defense just kind of let a guy through the middle, that's not what you want to see Randall Hill. That's sweet going Absolutely. crazy there. So it's probably Absolutely. safer for you to be in that Tiki hut at that point. Uh, Randall, <laughs> you know, I love talking to you. I'm going to let you ride. Okay. We're going to talk again soon. Uh, if it was up to me, I, like I told you, you'd be on Francis corner about three times a week. Cause I do love talking to you about everything, not just Kane stuff. I like when you rip me on Twitter. I like when I make mistakes, you call me out right away. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, no, 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 I'm not. I'm, I'm letting you end on this because I'm, I'm owning up to it. I'm owning up to the fact that one of the reporters in new England uh, for the Patriots game had like a third and like 38 or 39 and I threw on there somebody called Gino Toretta and Randall Hill, and I mistaken the Heisman for Craig Erickson. And to the from the second I posted it and then deleted it one second later, I have been ripped <laughs> since. So I'm allowing you to end our Francis Corner today by absolutely throwing haymakers at me. I'm going to sit back. I'm going to pull my shirt down. And I'm going to take it on the chin. No, listen. So there's two things that I'm known for, actually three things that I'm known for at the University of Miami. Of course, uh, the celebration, second right. with the tunnel. Second is third and, and what? 43. 43. I know. And, and and who's the quarterback? Craig Erickson. Okay, there we go. Got to give Craig uh, his just due um, because I used to yell at him in the huddle all the time. Hey, just throw <laughs> me the damn ball. I'm always open, right? right. Um, and then the other and final thing that I'm, I'm known for is the Cotton Bowl, of course, the you know the six shooters in, in, in the tunnel. Out of anybody who's listening, please do not. Now Gino's my guy too. You know I helped. You know I, I get I it. When, right. You know first came in, and and uh, and it was uh, we were in East Lansing, Miss, Michigan, and um, in a hostile territory, and Gino comes in the huddle with a big eyes. Gino, calm down. We got this. Relax. <laughs> you know, do with us. We got you, bro. But. Yeah, Craig Erickson was the guy. Um, you know, he threw a, gr- a great ball. Um, great ball. I'm glad that he threw me me the ball because if he didn't, then you know there would be probably blunt force trauma that we would be talking about <laughs> instead of a, a 43 uh, uh, conversion. But no, I'm gonna let you off the hook. You're okay. good to go. 
Um, you know, I, I, I follow you on Twitter, uh, and I still will follow follow you on Twitter. Of course. Um, you're one of my guys, bro, and I'm going to start coming on here more. Trust me. Randall, I'm going to shoot you a text every week. That's just like what I like doing anyway. And when you're ready to go, I'm always ready to go for some Randall Hill talk. And I can take a deep breath because now we've gotten past third and 43. You sent me the YouTube. <laughs> I want people to know out there that right after the tweet was put out and deleted, Randall said, no problem, bro. And then he sent me the video on YouTube on a text message <laughs> to make sure I did my research. Once again, I'm smiling because I'm like a red in the face and bears. And let me tell you, if you think that Randall Hill got me bad when my brother told my father what I did my dad didn't talk to me for 24 hours because my dad's that big of a hurricane fan and the only thing he said afterwards was how did you not know that and then he just shook his head in disappointment and walked away and that's much worse than what you did so don't worry I got it from my dad right you 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 cut some of my yardage away so I did I did I did it was like third and 36 right I did I did uh i did it randall it's always my pleasure talking to you You know i love you You know we're gonna bring you on again soon hopefully after a win against clemson we can come on and celebrate how they played and everything good and hopefully i don't bring you on to talk about a three-game losing streak because that would i don't want to talk to an angry randall hill i like happy i like dr hill in the background i like all that good stuff (laughs) i like the tiki hut i don't want a dark room and randall hill just screaming at me for 20 minutes i tell you what this is what we'll do from this point forward, whenever I come on, if it is um, positive and it's a win, we're in a tiki hut. Okay. Office for a loss. Yeah. If, okay. If it's for a loss, we're in the office uh, with, you know, Muhammad Ali, Joe DiMaggio right. background. I got Shaq up here. I got right. I saw Dwayne Wade. I saw a bunch of stuff, yeah. right? Ray right. Lewis. <laughs> right. But, yeah, so that's okay. the deal. We want to be out in a tiki hut. If not, we're in the office grinding. Right. Um, no more grinding. Yeah, exactly. We don't want to bother Dr. Hill. We need Dr. Hill to be on her ones and her tippy oh toe. We don't goodness. need that. Yeah. Right. We don't need she's that. Gonna, she's definitely going to say something to me. Of you course. had me on camera. I was by and I wasn't. <laughs> I have one of these scrubs. I'm like, Michelle, I, I call her Moo, by the way. I call okay. her Dr. Oh, that's it. Yeah. You're giving away secrets here. You can't do that. Not on Crancis Corner. Because I'm going to see her. I'm going to see her now and I'll be like, hi, Moo. And then I'm going to be in big trouble at that point. Right. Yeah. Because mm. I'm the only person who can get away with that. Right. Right. I'm not doing that. Maybe one day when I'm at the Tiki Hut and it, where everyone's comfortable, I'll do it. But not not until that, uh, no, that happens. Need to get your butt over here. And I we am. Can, we can from the Tiki Hut. Okay. That? That's fine. That's a deal. We will do one Francis Corner with Randall Hill no matter what before the season's over, from live the from the Tiki Hut. Hut at that point. And it's got to be a win. Otherwise, I'm going to be crumped in your office with you. So you better hope we win. Outstanding. Right. So there it is. Francis Corner, Randall Hill. Randall, thanks as always. Thrill, you're the man. Thanks. Appreciate it. Okay. This has been a special edition with Randall Hill.